Have you guys heard about the this word. mischief versus Nike situation over the past no. week? No. 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 What if I said Lil Nas X? Yes. That? No. The blood. No. no. So Lil Nas X released a song. Can't remember what it's called. Montero's. I don't know. Something. Where he in it is in hell, goes into hell, and he's fraternizing with the devil, giving the devil like a lap dance and stuff, and then at the end of it, he kills the devil. Um, he gives the devil a lap dance? Yeah. Oh, okay. um, do you know Lil Nas X? Yes. Old Town Road? Yeah. Old Town But you know, like, he's... Uh, since, since he's become famous, is like, openly gay, but, like, quite a uh, flamboyant character nah. in terms of like had nah. no, no idea. idea no idea he was gay. no idea yeah I, I, oh I, I this is like a gay. huge part of his brand Wait, <laughs> so what? Like, oh. yeah when did okay. this happen like uh, the, he came out ages yeah, ago like last when he I became famous that. yeah totally oh, um, no, last year it. i think it was it. so like he but he uses it to troll people who don't what? like it oh okay so like for example he's he's posted pictures of him as uh like a transitioned person like with boobs and all that kind of stuff and he wears crazy outfits like but he does it he does it as part of his own self-expression but he also leverages it to annoy people who get annoyed by things like that because to him oh, okay. like this man since the day he became famous like, i followed him on twitter is a level 1000 troll like this right. guy is very very good at trolling people yeah yeah, yeah. Um, like so is it not 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 a nice person no, he's a nice, he's a nice person. But when I say troll, like he knows how to get under people's skin, and it's typically oh, okay. the people's skin he's getting under are people who hold very old school conservative uh, opinions. Okay. So, for example, like people who don't like gay people and things like that. If you get what uh, I mean, uh, like, yeah. But he so, and he's very good like at poking fun at himself. I said I. Very yeah. good at poking fun at himself. So. Anyway, this this music video comes out, um, and then part of this marketing is there's this company called Mischief, who I think historically they've released a shoe where it's like an an Air Max, an old Air Max, but they've put in the bubble bit at the bottom. They've put in water, which has like one sixty cc's or like a drop of holy water in there as well. So like they've done this in the past. They basically rebrand shoes and make them this new style, new look. Yeah. So in partnership with Lil Nas X, they released this Satan shoe, which was this red and black, this black and red accented shoe. And in the, and it's the Air Max as well. And in the bubble bit with the liquid, it's this red liquid with one drop of human blood. Like that's oh. part of the marketing thing. Um, and then people were going crazy about this. And people were calling out Nike going, I cannot believe you've partnered with this guy. Because no one knew about Mischief. Like, they weren't a right, massive company. Right, right, right. What's so Mischief? So people thought it was Nike. They're, a com- they're the company that made the shoe with, like, they take, they're not a shoe company. They take existing shoes and then, like, rebrand them. And sell oh, okay. Them. Um, so it's like an artist's expression. Wait, couldn't Nike sue them? So sue this who? is what's happening right now. Wait. I'm so confused. I'm so sorry. Who did this shoe? Nike or Mischief? I knew you weren't paying finish. attention. Mischief. So this new shoe is not a Nike shoe. No. So no. people are it's outraged. It's a Nike shoe that's been rebranded as Mischief. People are outraged because they're saying, how could Nike partner with Lil Nas X in producing the Satan shoe? Oh, all these crazy things. It's disrespectful. Blah, 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 blah. So now Nike, in response, have had to come out and say, this isn't our shoe, we didn't do this, and now they're suing Mischief, the company that actually created that, that styled shoe. Um, and part How? of it, and this is where, like, part of it is... Wait, but wait. How can Mischief do a Nike shoe with the Nike tick and everything when it's not their shoe? Well, that's what they're saying. The fact Nike's suing them over the fact that the swish is prominent on the shoe. But even if it wasn't prominent, that's counterfeit, right? So that's illegal. So why would this company think they could do that? I'm so well, no, confused. it's just completely new. Like they've they've completely restyled, recreated the shoe. 
but it's still you, got yeah, their swoosh. It's like an, it's like you it's know, like if you you use, know there's guys that paint Nikes, right? Yeah, it's like if you um do commentary on someone else's content. Like there's free use. There's there's ways you can deal with things like this if you're doing an expression of something. Oh, okay. Because you're not you're not That's branding so it as something as your own branded shoe. You're branding it as your own take on that shoe. And selling it. So they're not saying it's a Nike shoe. They're saying we bought this Nike shoe and we've added this to it and now we're selling it. Yeah, like everyone knows yeah. it's not a, like they didn't, Mischief didn't make the shoe. Oh, okay. Got you. I was going to say they should have used the triple B's, mate. So, yeah. So <laughs> this this has all happened uh, now this lawsuit's going, but some it's been put out there that this was possibly a very calculated move by Mischief because they knew this was going to happen because in part of the lawsuit is they're not allowed to... Any any shoes that haven't been already shipped or anything, they're not allowed to send out. They have to stop selling. Now, there's only 666 shoes sold. Like, that was part of it. Um, right. And 665 of them have already been shipped. They're like, sorry, we've already shipped them. Which means oh. people are saying they obviously planned this because they knew that order was going to come down. So yeah, that yeah, they, sh- yeah. they shipped them out that quickly because it's happened mm-hmm. within like, I think within 24 hours. Or something like that. It was very quick. Oh. Um, but the shoes sold out like instantly. The only reason yeah. that one, one of them wasn't is because that was going to be like a special one that they signed and did other stuff with, I think. Um, but yeah, it's got people going absolutely crazy on it. And part of the counter argument for i don't know if lil nasek said this himself i can't remember but he he's he doesn't care like the guy he's he's leaned into this and like he's gone on instagram live doing like crying and all this and then turns it into listen to the song like he he just does not care that people are outraged by this in any way shape or form but part of his thing is you have used the devil against me as being a gay person my whole life and told me i'm going to hell and now you're offended because i'm saying like i'm insinuating that i'm going to hell like what are you how like where this make this make sense yeah um yeah. but then also people are saying this isn't new like people have used satan all over the place and people have and weirdly enough as well satan is gay in a lot of things like a lot of depictions of satan is like satan's in kids cartoons as like powerpuff girls there was a gay satan um, I, didn't even I don't know, know that. if you ever remember Cow and Chicken, but there was <laughs> what's Cow and Chicken? <laughs> That's an old cartoon. Wait, there's an Aussie Cow ad for beer, and the the Satan, I think he appears gay as well. I'm sure. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why know. Satan's always gay in things, but anyway, that yeah. So there's people saying this is just a complete, complete and utter um, double standard in terms yeah. of the way that people are coming after him when they haven't gone after other things in the past. Um, and he is just killed. Like, this has blown up his song. This has blown up the marketing of his brand again. Like, this is what I mean by he's like a level 1000 troll. Like, he knew exactly what he was doing when he did this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's just got him oh. more attention. I th- yeah, I think... Uh, I don't know. I find it really interesting as well, just because I think a lot of the people who are outraged by it and by like the video and stuff because this is another thing that people are saying as well as along with the same as what they say to Cardi B and stuff is this is disgraceful you shouldn't make a music video like this like the kids see this and stuff and people are going if the kids see if your kids see that video that's your problem not the music artist's problem I don't understand so the 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 people that grew up in the 90s and that are parents now the 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 clips were worse they were the music videos no, were no, worse. No. Are you serious, CJ? Uh, have you heard some of the crappy songs that are coming no, out? No, I didn't now? say the no, songs. I, I said the music videos. The music I mean, even videos. The, even the songs. Do you remember the things that we used to listen to as kids? Yeah. Have you gone back and like listened to those lyrics? Yes. Yeah. I, I feel, I, it's yeah. my happy place. I've upload. I've like started to like all my '90s hip hop because that's my happy place. I've realized I want to listen to those songs and none of the shit that I'm listening to now. Like listening to like hoes and and then dropping um, liquor on the floor. I'm like, oh, my happy place. I, 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 I heard WAP, right? And I was thinking, wow. Macaroni and is this cheese. What gets, 
Is this what gets away for his music these days? That's a wet ass Uzi. Yeah, like um, yeah. Get him up in a bucket. I just, I don't even know the words. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Start together. <laughs> Seriously, man. Like, if I met a girl who was able to do that, I don't know. I'm not sure I would want to stay in the relationship. <laughs> I don't I, know the words. That's a massive cleanup. <laughs> I think I do think it's fun. I I think it is funny that people put onus on music artists in case someone oh someone posted a brilliant picture which just summed up this for me. Do you remember Katy Perry's? I don't even remember what the song was, but I was Lion? going to university at the time because I remember me and one of my future roommates at that point were like were both vibing to that song. We were both that's jokes that we're vibing to that song, but it was the one where she's in like. She's on like a candy land or something, and she has oh. these. Was she a firework? I do know that one. Cream from her bra. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. How long ago was that? Well, that's that's over a decade ago. Like, I think that was 2010 that came out. What is that song? God, man. Now you um, me thinking. I'm more of like a Bruno Mars fan now. I like his music. Mm hmm. But even his music, right? Even his uh, what's a Versace on the floor, whatever that one yeah. is. That's a bit sexual. Oh yeah, seriously. If there's no girl I know that I'll be that that be they'll be throwing Versace on the floor. It'll be Target on the floor, <laughs> Kmart, but the Versace. <laughs> Put your the Target, target on, the on the floor and the Kmart bra Ooh. on the wall. <laughs> California girls, oh, California on girls. That's right. But even Raw. How about Raw? She was on all fours the whole time. I am a tiger, fire, dancing through the sire. <laughs> I don't know the words of that song either. Bloody hell. <laughs> no, like, like, uh, like uh, our songs were like, let's talk about sex from Salt, Salt and Pepper. Right? But, I mean, look, I, I think I've referenced this on the podcast before, but remember Pony? Oh, it's, man. I, that, oh, I yeah, just, it's on my list. I was to that song as a kid. Yeah, like, as a child, yeah. I used to vibe. And you don't to that know song. what it was about. You're like, I want a pony. I want a pony. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a pony. Why do you want a pony? Look, genuine. He loves ponies too. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know. It was in, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's. It, I think people forget the innocence of. Well, two things. Two sizes for me. One, I think people forget the innocence of kids. Like when you're innocent, you're in. A, you don't connect those yeah. dots because those yeah, dots you don't, don't you exist don't realize. for you um yeah. and then the other side but of like, it is do you really want your children singing rap hang on a sex siege how about um uh genie in the bottle by what's her name yeah she's she's a genie in the that's bottle. not what it like meant that's not what it meant, not what it meant. It yeah <laughs> that's yeah. not what it meant cj genie in the bottle i know <laughs> yeah, exactly but like, that's the, the other saying. side of it so, like, when you say WAP, for example, are we not... It's adult content not allowed to exist in... Like, are we not allowed entertainment for I adults? Know. I don't <laughs> get it. Yeah, but, like... What? Why does, why does music <laughs> have to be for everyone? But it's like, it's like porn music now. It's, <laughs> you say that, that's because of women singing about it. Men have been singing about their dicks. Like, this is not new. <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't, I don't even like the dick song... <laughs> <laughs> fair call fair call that's a fair call <laughs> alright but the problem is I can't think of any of the dick songs right now I think there's there's a fair amount of reference yeah, in most like, of hip hop okay okay give me one dick song <laughs> off the top of my head Little Dicky yeah <laughs> <laughs> Little Dicky does a whole freestyle about it. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> see, you know, um, you know, uh, all these kind of music, and he said it's like porn and stuff. How about when it was heavy metal? You remember the heavy metal Satan worshippers? Do you remember that? Oh yeah. yeah. So like, there's all there's always been music that's been controversial since. Since, like, I mean, Elvis, Elvis, NWA, Elvis, at least had was um, controversial. Elvis was controversial. Yeah, his hip thrust was controversial. That's right. <laughs> That's the what funny, I'm saying. It's always 
The funny thing you say about Satan worshippers being controversial, this reminded me of something, this came out with the Satan conversation, is Satan worshippers are almost the original trolls, because no one actually worships Satan. Like, if you believe in, you, if you worship Satan, you don't believe in God and Satan, like, if you get what I mean, like you don't. Uh, if if you believe in God, you wouldn't worship Satan, right? Does that make sense? You have to believe in God before you can worship Satan. Yeah. So if you're a Satan worshiper, you're just a troll to start with. You're like you're just right. trolling people who actually care about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. I see. Ah, so. huh, I don't know. Yeah, adult music needs to exist. I, 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 are you a? F- I, I, do you like the rap song, Ernie? Me. Yes. Um, I mean, macaroni in a pot. That's somewhere uh, Uzi. But the, I, <laughs> I, I guess, I I, yeah, it's because kids <laughs> nowadays they can access the music very easily, and this stuff plays on um the radios. And even if they try and blur out some words, they do it so that you can still hear like the end of the word. Like it's so obvious. In fact. In the daytime yesterday, I was listening to a song and they didn't even take out the word and it was the F word. They didn't even take it out. And it was like the middle of the day on the radio. But that's, mm. that's not on the artist. That's on the radio. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The it's not on the artist. No, no, it's definitely not on the artist. No one's saying that. It is on the artist. The artist. But that is, that's, that's what people are saying. It's just people the platform saying, that people are saying is that more accessible to students, uh, kids. Mm. Which, nah. Like, I, I I used to listen to like music with swearing in it. Like you still do when I was younger, and it was cool. Yeah, you know? like oh my <laughs> yeah, you know. But they've gone to a whole different. No, approach. yeah. Well, I can't believe what I'm hearing, is... CJ. I really can't he- believe what I'm hearing from you. I I really, uh, especially the music that we listened to, it was worse. The music we listened to was. No, are you serious? Yeah, are it you was serious. Do you remember two two pack and Biggie? Yeah. We didn't. You, I would say as well. Like, we didn't videos? have kids stuff when we were like in terms, like you know, yeah. kids bop. Yeah. Like that didn't exist. There wasn't a kids bop when we had like S Club Seven, but that wasn't a kids bop. Like there wasn't S Club Seven. There wasn't there wasn't S-Club. areas directly for children. Show if you get what I mean, like now. there was teenager stuff, like pop, yeah. but there wasn't actual children centric entertainment oh, like there is now. But, do you remember mm. Bewitched? Bewitched. Hey boy, in your tree, throw down your ladder, make a room for me. <laughs> no, I know what you're talking about. Um, don't be shy, straight up your no. target down from I a tree house so. in the sky. I don't know, it's weird that I remember that song. It's <laughs> totally weird. It was totally weird. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> How about the Venga Bus? I just, I, How about the yeah, Venga Bus? I don't know, I, I, uh, the Venga Bus had some. Venga Bus is coming. Yeah, that's, the, you know what that's about. That's <laughs> not about. <laughs> 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 And then the king, uh, and man, I don't know the words. This is crazy, but I'd know Bewitched. <laughs> I remember that song. <laughs> so, Emma, what do you think of the music? Well, Since you've been so quiet no, about it. I, this is the thing. Ha- have you been singing along to what? I d- no, but the thing is. A bucket and a mop. I. I don't really listen to that song. Like, I feel like if you're on TikTok and all that, then yes. You're going to do all those, listen to the songs and stuff like that. I have heard it. I don't particularly like it. Um, not because I'm offended. Just meh. Yeah. I just don't really like the song that much. I, but I just find it very crude. Are you, the thing I is, what I'm is <laughs> but wait, when we were growing I'm up, up man. I'm you haven't. like you couldn't just, unless you had like MTV or whatever, the songs you would listen to was from a CD. You would have to, buy that CD in a shop, you'd have to be of a certain age or your parents would have that CD at home, right? Now you can just watch it anywhere. TikTok on your, any, like Spotify, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. So a lot of kids are listening to it. I used to have to. Like a lot younger. But then that's, that's one of the things that people are saying is if you're a parent and you don't, if you're not policing what your kids are doing with content, then I think music is the least of our worries. Like there's things far worse on the internet that they're going to be coming across. Like, oh, no. tick, all these yeah. social media platforms are not for kids anyway. Like, you're not even supposed to be on it if you're under 13. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not the biggest worry. <laughs>